Right now, new here at four, caring for your kids. Oh boy, splinters are a common, awful, painful part of growing up. Sometimes coaxing a child into letting you actually remove a splinter is tougher than the actual injury. It's just tough when I have to do it to myself. <laughs> uh, but there are times when you should take your child to the doctor. Joining us now with more on this, Dr. Kristen Farr from Children's Hospital. So first of all, doctor, first of all, thanks a lot for coming yeah, by. absolutely. Thanks for having me. What kind of things? Because this is the time of year everybody's outside running around. So what sure. kind of items are we talking about so that can get lost? I think lodged? the most common is going to be, you know, wood splinter. Sure. So that's kind of our typical one. So as kids are outside on, you know, decks and playing outside um, around trees, and it's easy to get a, a wood splinter. You can also right. get some splinters from thorns or, um, you know, cacti. Um, so those are kind of the more common ones but metal objects they're common as well so BBs the big thing kids are out fishing right now so fishing hooks are a big deal um, those require a little bit more attention mm -hmm. and maybe some medical assistance just don't so yank that one out do not yank no. those out please don't it can <laughs> yeah. cause more trauma so um, if a child has a fish hook in, embedded then, yeah. then we would like to see them because yeah. there's some things that we need to do for that well let me ask you this though what are some of the things that we can probably take care of at home yeah. and not have to bring them into the so society? a splinter that you can visibly you, know, you can sure. see um, then usually those are pretty easy to get out. We would say, you know, use tweezers if you can. Try to sanitize the tweezers yeah. if possible. Use boiling water. Maybe not a coffee pot, but use boiling water. And then, um, and then just rinse it with soap and water. Pull it out. Um, and then um, just make sure you clean the area um, again with just soap and water. So those are going to be your common ones if you're able to see it. Sometimes you'll see it on the surface of the sure. skin, but it's not completely exposed. Right. You might want to just scrape the skin a little if the okay. child will let you. Yeah. Um, and sometimes you can just kind of just soak it in warm water and that'll kind of help, um, help it kind of come to the surface. Um, but the biggest thing is just doing it, you know, in a clean environment as much as, you know, as, as well as you can. Sure. And, and that's always the tricky one, the one that's not really actually sticking out, but it's like you can see it under yeah. the skin, but you can't quite get to it. That's always the one I always find is the tough one to get. For sure. So then at what point do we bring our child to you then? So if it ever looks infected, sure. then that's obviously a, a, you know, a concern and you want to see a physician over that. So if it's red and if it's swollen, if it um, is covered in like yellow color or white color, that kind of shows that there's a little infection or pus there. Um, if it's really deeply embedded, there's no way you're going to be able right. to get to it and we want to see them. Um, if it's causing the child a lot of pain, again, if it's that fish hook or anything yeah. with barbs, um, that would be a big deal. Any kind of metal object, sometimes those are a little tricky, so we'd want to see them as well. Okay. Maybe give them a sucker or something to distract oh, for them. Sure. Popsicles and <laughs> In stickers, so. Distract the parents as well. Yeah. Doctor, as always, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. thanks a lot for coming it. by. And of course, if you have a question about your child's health that you would like answered, email Lori Tucker at ltucker at wat.com and then tune into Channel 6 every Thursday at 4 to see if we answer your question on the air.